Hey everybody, it's Scott from Gold Spring Service, and today we're going to be working on a 20,000 pound torque rod for Hendrickson suspension. Now this is kind of confusing because the torque rod was originally designed by Hendrickson, but is used by many other suspensions now. Uh, Peterbilt's use them, Kenworth's use them, Freightliner's use them, Western Star's use them, International's use them, pretty much everybody uses them. So here's the torque rod. You can see it's starting to split right in there, and it's all shoved over and rubbing up against this uh, housing here. So we're going to take this torque rod out, we're going to rebush it, put it back in. The first thing we got to do is remove all these zip ties. Okay. Alright, let's get these bolts freed up then. I'll take that wrench. Thank you. I think it might be seized up in the uh, actual bushing here. Get on that. Yeah, I figured the bolt seized in here and it's worn into this plate so I can't even get the torque rod off. See, so yeah, it looks like I'm rebushing both so you can actually see right there it's worn in. Right, let's take this up to the bench. If you're having problems air chiseling on the end of a bolt, just stick the nut back on. It allows you to center your air chisel and it holds it for you. So now we'll take and mark them.
reason why I use the center punch is because I can get them ridiculously accurate. Then I can actually line it right up to the very center of the center punch. If you put a marker on there, you could be off by eighth of an inch. So now that we have them marked, we can actually just push them out, clean them up, and uh, because they're already marked, I know exactly where they're going to go. And we can put the new bushings in. The next most important thing is to get all the little chunks of rubber out of there and get it clean so we can put the new bushings in. Okay, so the next step is for us to install the bushings. So we're gonna coat them in a type of honeydew. Um, well, that's what we call it. It's actually Hendrickson Rubber Assembly Oil. Uh, the part number is A14011, and it's absolutely spectacular for installing. Rubber bushings in steel, so rubber against steel. Don't use grease, don't use dish soap, don't use anything but that stuff. If you can get your hands on it on a, on a good, consistent basis, use it, it's fantastic. There's nothing better. And I do put a little bit on the top edge here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna push them into this little cartridge here. So if you look here, you can see that it's more open up top and it's more enclosed at the bottom and it's because it has a reducer inside of it. So as we push the bushing inside, it'll actually reduce it in size so we can actually get it inside of the torque rod. So there's our punch mark right there. So we're gonna line it right up to that. And that's why I punch them on the outside so I can actually see it when I'm lining up my bushing. So if you notice, we're still off a little bit, so we'll straighten it out. And there you go, nice and straight and rebushed. So I think I'm going to get this side in first, and uh, if I have to, I can always port power it and then I can slide this stuff in. I think that might work the best. Alright. Oh, we cleaned all the bolts up and never seized them too. <laughs> Shorter bolt went on this side here. Oh yeah. We're definitely gonna have to pry that over. Ooh, baby. Okay, uh, so let's get the port of power out and I wonder if we can just stick the one end right in there. Let's do that. Yeah. 
So it's gonna have to be about 26 inches long. Okay, hold up. Uh, might not work. Because now it's pushing it all funny. All right, just give it like two pumps, see what happens. A little bit more. Okay, I'll try that. Give it one more pump. It's working, it's just shoving everything all weird. Hammer. doing that just being mean okay we'll get this one in first and then we'll let off the core power okay okay so I'll give it a couple of pumps yep keep going looking good a couple more yep we'll get this one dropped in hmm. oh I see Pushing this uh, torque rod out. So let me type this. Let's see if that'll hold it. Okay, that's in there. I'm gonna slip these babies in here. There we go. I thought this was going to be a real easy one. Hey, Christmas miracle. I'm really fussy. I don't know if you can see this or not, but there's a shim back here and I gotta get it straight. Like that. Okay, bolts are in. Everything looks good here. Uh, I'm gonna put the nuts on first, but then we'll take the port of power out. I honestly have no clue how people do this stuff without these kits. Uh, so this is actually a body repair kit. Uh, so it's 10 tons, comes with all sorts of different tubes, attachments, and everything like that. And it comes with a nice pump, like so. And you just pump it up and it gives you 10 tons worth of pressure. So you can move axles around, shove it apart to get torque rods in. I, I literally use this thing like, if not every day, every other day. Like it is so, so, so handy for just getting everything all lined up. And I'm not putting any effort in. So I'm not sitting there holding a bar or prying or like, you know, you just stick it in, you give it a couple of pumps, and it does all the work for you. So it really cuts down on the amount of like wear and tear on your body over 40 years of doing the mechanic type field. So top tip for the day. <laughs> all right, let her off, and boom, all goes back into position. So to be a professional, you got to put things back exactly how you found them. So we're actually going to zip tie these back up here. And you got to make sure there's a tiny little bit of slack in there because this torque rod does uh, go up and down as the suspension moves. So you want a tiny little bit of slack in there, kind of like that. And you want it to be a you want the hoses to be away from your bolts and your torque rod and other hoses. Things like that. Like we'll 
put one, I think we'll leave that there. And we'll put one right here. That way this doesn't unplug on them. Make sure it's all nice and tight. And please trim these when you're done with it. My goodness. You want to get one of these in the eye. Again. <laughs> so there you go. Torque rod rebush and install for a 20,000 pound Hendrickson design torque rod. If you like this kind of content, feel free to subscribe. And if you have any co comments or questions, put it down in the comments or questions, put them down in the comments below. That doesn't make any sense, but do it anyways. All right, I'll catch you next time. <laughs> Take care and I'll see you later. All right, bye.